My cat is making the most disgusting noise <laughs> eating its food <laughs> right as I started filming. That's great. Hi guys, it's been it's been a couple weeks. I'm sorry. Um, we are back with the pregnancy diaries. This is not a series that I've forgotten about. To be honest, I've kind of been wanting to push off this series just for a couple of weeks because there was so much coming up, like my first ultrasound that I had. Um, we have my gender re reveal today, actually. Um, not the day that I'm filming, but the day that I posted this. So still today, Sunday, um, we're having my gender reveal and I have decided I'm going to live stream it. And the reason that I'm gonna live stream it is because some of you guys who have been following me forever, um, I have you added on my private social media, so I didn't want to ask my family who's actually attending the gender reveal to not post anything after the reveal to prevent those people, those followers from seeing if it's a boy or a girl. I hope this makes sense, <laughs> but from seeing that it's a boy or a girl and then relaying that on this platform um, before I got the chance to, kind of ruining the surprise. So I figured just to kind of prevent that and to prevent from asking my fam family not to post anything, um, I would just end up live streaming. I believe um, the party starts at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I believe about 2 o'clock is when the live stream uh, will begin. Uh, I don't want to live stream the entire party because I know that there's going to be a lot of family who would prefer not to be on camera, so I'm trying not to have them on camera and really just have me and TJ and like the big surprise be on camera but keep posted just make sure your notifications are on um for my channel because i say two o'clock but i don't actually know when we're gonna have the um big reveal that is just kind of my best guess again the party starts at one and ends around four so say like I don't feel like people would want to wait too, too long to find out the gender. I know I definitely don't. I'm getting very, very antsy at this point, but today we find out, so I'm so, so excited. I asked you guys, I posted something on my community tab about a week ago at this point. Uh, I feel like my lipstick is so... Sorry, <laughs> I just, I came back from work, hold on. Okay, we're gonna let that dry. <laughs> um, about a week ago at this point, I posted on my community tab here on YouTube and I also posted on Instagram asking you guys if you wanted to live stream. Pretty much everyone that commented said like live stream, but I also asked if you were team boy or team girl. So you can always comment on this um, video as well in the community tab before the live stream. Let me know your guess. I will say that I am team girl. I think I think it's a girl. I've thought it was a girl since we found out that we were pregnant. However, I was wrong with Ella. I thought she was a boy. I was having dreams that she was a boy and I got a girl. So <laughs> my uh, intuition might not be quite spot on. So I have been basically telling everyone because I've been constantly asked, do you want a boy? Do you want a girl? And I'm gonna tell you the truth right now. It took us so long to conceive. As long as it's a happy and healthy baby, that's all I want. And I know that sounds super cliche, but I don't really have like a preference. And I've been telling people that it would be awesome to say like I have one of each because I feel like that's what most people want to be able to experience having a son and a daughter. I would love to say that I have um, a son, but that wouldn't I wouldn't be disappointed if I have two daughters, you know what I mean? As long, again, as I have happy, healthy babies, that is all I care about. And I'm more prepared to have a daughter. I have all of Ella's clothes. I didn't give anything away because I knew that Ella was not gonna be the only one that we had and I didn't wanna get rid of all her clothes and then have another daughter and, and have to start from scratch. So for a boy, I would basically be starting from scratch, but a girl I'm a little bit more prepared on. But um, I have basically just been telling people that if, I don't, I don't even know how it's going to be um, uh, uh, revealed by the way. Um, I set the time, the place, and I invited the family. My mom is doing the theme, the reveal. I have no, I genuinely have no idea how it's gonna be revealed. One of my good friends, Amber, has been helping my mom out with the process. She doesn't know what the gender is either, but she said I'm, she knows how it's gonna be revealed and she said it's very unique. So I'm very, very excited for that. Um, but where was I going with that? <laughs> 
Um, sorry, my mind is a little bit scrambled today. I'm, I'm, I'm rushing today. I have a lot to talk about in this video, a lot to catch you guys back up on. But uh, I've been telling people that I would be surprised if it was blue. You know what I mean? Or if it was a boy. Um, I said, I I'm gonna be thrilled either way. Like, it's gonna be a super exciting, I'm probably gonna cry, you'll see in the live stream. Um, but I'll be surprised if I'm having a boy because since the beginning I said I've ha I'm having a girl. So I won't really be necessarily as surprised if I'm having a girl, but either way, I'm gonna be thrilled and all that fun stuff. So, with that out of the way, make sure that you check in for that live stream because I don't live stream very often. It's a little out of my comfort zone. I get very, 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 very nervous during live streams, so I don't do it as much as I would actually like to, um, but that should be exciting. So let's just jump right into the pregnancy diaries. Oh my gosh, I have to actually look up when my last pregnancy diaries was. Holy smokes, give me just one second. Wow, it's been that long, I guess. Whoops. I think it was like, what, week 18? Let's see. My goodness, we have to go down another page. <laughs> um, pregnancy or dairy. Okay, preg wow, 15, We I covered week 15 and week 16. Now this is a little bit confusing, but this day that I'm filming, I'm still on 20 weeks pregnant. Um, when you guys see this, I will be at that 21 week point. The problem is I, don't really find a whole lot of time to film anymore, especially because I'm at work full time again and now Ella's in school and all the after school stuff we've been involved with. Um, I rushed home today. I gotta go pick Ella up in like 40 minutes. So I finished work early today, so I rushed home just to film this. So that's why I'm filming a couple days early so I can make sure that I get this up for Sunday morning. But uh, like I said, right now I am on 20 weeks. By the time you're seeing this, yeah, I'll be on 21 weeks. <laughs> um, so there's been a whole lot going on, uh, especially since the last time I talked to you guys again was on uh, week 16, holy Toledo's. But let us just, oh my gosh, I forgot how to use this application too. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. My baby is the size of a cantaloupe or an eggplant. When you guys are seeing this, it's the size of an eggplant. Hi, baby, baby. I'm not gonna say, you know, I go through every single one of these. I feel like that's gonna be a bit much, um, but I am going to talk uh, briefly about what's going on, what has been going on, I suppose. Basically, um, the baby skin is, is, is forming a bit more, like more kind of fatty. So all those veins that were visible are pretty much gone. Um, the little heart is busy pumping. I got to hear the baby heart, the baby's heartbeat again with the ultrasound. Don't worry. I'm going to be showing you pictures in a moment. The baby is practicing breathing, um, and its chest is moving in rhythm as if breathing air. The baby is covered with, uh, vernix is a white protective coating. Um, that protects the skin from damage and my baby is basically looking more like a baby now the facial features are formed um, Obviously the the genitalia is formed. It has clearly defined facial features as this says um, sleep patterns uh, I, I've been noticing when my baby's awake versus when they're asleep, which is a huge update I've actually felt my baby kick which is Oh, I want to cry. <laughs> it is amazing. It's it's creepy. <laughs> it creeps me out a little bit. Not creepy, but like if I put my hand on my belly and I feel a baby kick, I'm like, ooh, like that feeling. But it, it's amazing. And I, ha I haven't let anybody touch my belly yet because I've been wanting TJ to be the first one to feel the baby, obviously besides me. But every time I try... Every time I try, it stops kicking, but I notice that the baby will kick me most when I'm lying down. Already preventing mama from getting sleep. I I also have been up a lot at night. Um, a lot of it has to do with like my toothache. If you've been following me throughout my vlogs, I'm still terrified to get a root canal. Um, so I've been trying to like combat the infection and stuff and just try to like, not prolong it, but um, with the toothache and then like getting kicked at night, I've been waking up probably like three times a night. Um, but I have noticed a sleeping 
patterns developing. The baby is now at this point just gaining some weight. Uh, and I think there's one or two more updates. Mm -hmm. Yep, the reproductive organs, we just talked about that. That can be identified, which uh, I'll tell you about how they did that uh, without us knowing in just a moment as well. The baby is busy sucking its thumb, yawning and kicking. Oh, it's so cute, I can't. I can't wait till my little nuggets here. Um, and then the hair growth on my baby's head and facial features are formed. Oh wait, we already talked about the facial features, but uh, hair is growing. Last but not least, this is where we would be at during this, this video right now. So it's looked obviously most like a baby than it has. Um, I think next week there's a big change too. Let me see. Yeah, like right there. So we have like one more week before like it just looks like a itty bitty tiny baby. The baby's skin is wrinkled and it is of a pinkish red color but still translucent. The bone marrow is making blood cells and while mostly sleeping your baby is now able to blink and the eyelashes and eyebrows are formed as well. Oh my baby's eyelashes! <laughs> so. So those are all the updates. I'm gonna go grab the ultrasound pictures. We're gonna talk a little bit about the ultrasound. I'll show you my belly and that will be it until later today when we get to find out. I'm so excited. Now truthfully, I really wish I knew exactly where this photo album was at this moment because I'm just a little short on time at the moment, but I have an, a photo album with Ella's ultrasounds and I got like 3D, um, <sighs> I got 3D prints of her and now like looking at her and looking at the prints it looks just like her like it it, it, it is her but it looks like her um this time around I only got like the like 2D ultrasound but there is baby number two like that's like kind of like a bird's eye view and then obviously the profile but it was so much fun so TJ myself and my mom all went to the ultrasound and it was just amazing because this was the first time that I had actually seen this baby with Ella. I got a scan really early. I think I got a scan about 12 weeks because I wasn't sure when, when I had conceived. So she was like literally this big jumping around in my belly which was the cutest thing to see. And then I got a scan around 20 weeks to find out the gender, probably closer to like 18 because we also had a friend who worked like as an ultrasound tech. So, you know, we found out the gender and I found out the gender right then and there. But with this baby, the first time I had seen him or her was at, um, I was at 19 weeks. I was just about at 20 weeks. And to go 20 weeks <laughs> without seeing, the child is really, really difficult. I was having a really hard time. I really wanted to see them. Um, and I was definitely teary eyed in the ultrasound room, like just watching its little fingers and watching it like move its legs and it was flipping around and giving the technician a hard time. Like it was great. <laughs> Um, but it was really, it was really amazing. That's just something I didn't really forget with Ella. Like that's something I'll, I'll always remember, but like just being there in that moment is actually having it happen in front of you is just such an amazing thing. So I was definitely emotional getting these photos. Um, but I want to find that photo album and put these in with Ella's. Now, the way that they basically, um, found out the gender without, TJ and I knowing, um, they did all the scans. They like measure the head, they measure the spine. They like take certain measurements of the baby's body um, on the on the monitor to make sure that the baby is growing. Um, I didn't get any like genetic testing or anything done for this child. I felt like I was low risk, and no matter what, my, I I would it wouldn't change anything with my pregnancy you know what i mean if, if that makes any sense but um yeah they did a bunch of measurements and then when it came time like they were avoiding that area base basically and then when it was time for them to look um you know they confirmed with me twice that i didn't want to know they said that you're the patient do you want to know and i said no I said, if you could please find out, write it down, put it in an envelope and give it to my mom. Um, I'll be finding out in a couple of weeks, which is really, really hard. Guys, I had to wait two weeks after my mom got that envelope to find out. That's why I'm so excited about today. But they ended up turning off the monitors in the room when they looked for it. 
And then once they found it, they moved the camera, they turned the monitors back on and handed my mom the envelope. Um, do I like regret not finding out right away? No, because like now I get to really look forward to sharing that moment with my family. Everybody's taking bets. Um, I, I think TJ's team boy, um, I told people optional, of course, but if they wanted to show up in pink or blue at the party, depending on what they think um, the baby will be. So like we kind of just like made it fun because I don't know if we're gonna have a third baby, guys. That you know, the, if we have a third baby, we have to move. <laughs> like we don't have the room for it. This was a starter home. I bought this home again at 19. That video already went up, but I wasn't really thinking ahead to a large future. You know what I mean? And I am. Um, I don't know if we would have to move like it would change a lot in our lives so this might be it um, which you know I'm incredibly grateful for I don't want to sound ungrateful at all like to having my two babies or every, Ella's everything to me you know and now I'm gonna I'm so emotional <laughs> I'm sorry um having another little baby in my life is only gonna fill it up with even more joy and happiness and and I bet they're gonna be funny as anything as well because Ella's got quite the personality on her. So um, I'm really looking forward to today. I wanna cry, I don't know why. <laughs> it's just, I'm really, really excited. Um, we're halfway, we're more than halfway there throughout the pregnancy, which is crazy. January's gonna come so stinking fast and I'm just so excited to meet my little nugget. Um, so let me show you my belly real quick so I can stop crying and edit this video for Pete's sake. So here's my belly. At this point, I feel like I'm obviously pregnant. It was always kind of like, meh, kind of there, kind of isn't, but um, yeah, it's it's there. Um, I feel good, I feel comfortable, there's no sickness, I can pretty much eat whatever I want at this point. Um, I feel a lot, a little bit more stretching. Ooh, that tickles. <laughs> I still feel a little bit of stretching, but most of the kicks I pretty much feel down here, like right here. Most of the time on my right side, it looks like your left, but my right side is where I feel most of the kicking. Uh, but I feel good. I have to wear a lot of just stretchy stuff. I wear like sweatpants to work. You know, even as the colder um, months approach, I have to wear like sweaters and leggings and stuff, just keep myself comfortable. But that is it guys. The next time I see you, we're gonna find out what it is. I'm so excited. I hope you guys are too. If you're excited, please go ahead, leave a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to reach out to me on my community tab, my Facebook or my Instagram. Leave your team boy or team girl comment. Most of you seem to be team boy. <laughs> and I think that's just because I already have a girl, but I don't know, I'm, I'm really excited either way and I'm so grateful to share this experience with you guys. So thank you so much and I will see you when I do another Pregnancy Diaries. <laughs> I love you guys, bye.